Aloha and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 80 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. So I have a question for you today. Are you one of us or are you one of them? <laughs> it's been a lifelong issue that I've been uh, encountering and it started off uh, I guess it started off when I was a really early little girl because we moved a lot when I was growing up and so pretty much every couple of years I was starting in uh, a new school and so I was always one of them you know the new kids I was never one of us the people who got here first and seemed by virtue of something rather by getting there first to have some special status conferred upon them. Um, I continued to encountering it when I went to college in Berkeley. I was there in the early 70s and it was very you know tumultuous radical time and I was very interested in three things fighting the against the Vietnam War, uh, feminist women's health and also the environment which is what I was studying in college and I was in the sciences. And it was very hard because each of those three groups uh, said to me literally, you know, you either work with us 100%, you dedicate yourself 100% to this cause or you really don't belong with us because it's too important and it's too serious and, and you have to be with us 100%. And it's funny, you know, that, that that's what the, li the, the radicals, forget liberals, radicals, uh, were preaching to me many years ago and now we have a very conservative president who says you're either with us or you're against us and people are making fun of that because we realize that you know being with us and against us is so very very case specific um, does that mean you agree with me or disagree with me on any particular topic and I'm so <laughs> I'm into beauty and I'm into harmony and I'm into not everyone being the same that's utterly boring what I am into though is people really knowing who they are and being able to bring that to the table with their full confidence and freedom to express themselves without feeling that they have to change or that they have to have a million people on their side in order for their side to be valid I've really been cultivating a belief in my own life that even if none of the other six billion people on the planet agree with me on a particular issue, I'm still entitled to have my point of view. And if I want to bring other people along to my point of view, then I get to figure out how I want to do that. And I get to basically, this is where I go into kind of scientist mode. I get to go into studying what's working and what's not working. You know, is, does it work? Do I attract more people by being, you know, angry or by being loving or by being this or by being that? You know, it really depends. Depends on a given day. Depends on a given person that I'm trying to attract over to my, my point of view. So. Lots and lots of places for us to divide ourselves and certainly in technology one of those dividing points is the people between you know who are very very anti-copyright you know and on beach walks we have a copyright notice and I believe we have that there it's, it's in a, an ongoing topic of discussion actually but but the main reason that it's there is to prevent those in the marketplace who would be unscrupulous and to take advantage of us from from doing that. Now, having said that, that doesn't mean that we're not willing to share beach walks. So if you're a video blogger out there and you want to do some kind of a mashup and it's for your artistic expression and you want to use a clip from beach walks, just be in touch because we'd be glad to give you permission. It's not about uh, having a, an iron wall between what we do and, and what other people can do with what we do. It's more a matter of of uh, a mother's m maternal instinct to want to protect her baby from going off into the hands of people who would not 
care for that baby as much as, as much as I do. Lexi, by the way, is an equal opportunity lover. I think I've mentioned this on other shows. She embraces everyone, regardless of who they are or their opinions or what their preferences politically are. And that's one of the reasons I love her and that's one of the lessons I get from her is that you can actually have a pretty good life uh, by being very open-hearted. And that's, that's what I'm learning to do. So from my heart to yours, Malama Pono. If you want to call the conch shell, you can do so at Roxanne Darling via Skype, or you can call by telephone at 949-544-1456. Aloha.